I'm going to show you how to beat the Ehen A Shrine in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This shrine is all the way over here on the map to the east side. You'll go way up on this mountain and you'll find the shrine. It's blocked by this oil. So in order to get this oil off, you're going to look around. I don't know if there's any of the plants around here, but you'll find them all over the world. There's actually a decent amount of them. There, you can hold R, like you're going to throw your weapon, and then hold up on the D-pad. And look through your items. And there's an item in here that's called a Splash Fruit. There it is. You have to go find one of these. There might be one just around here. I'm not sure. But once you get one of those, you can just throw it at it. And it just clears off the oil. Then you're able to get this fast travel spot, the Ehen A Shrine. And then you can go inside. Now I'm going to show you how to beat all the puzzles inside of it. So this shrine's also called Midair Perch. And you'll notice all these uh, floating blocks hanging around. So I'm, I, you don't need to do what I'm about to do. But I just think it'll be more fun to do it this way. So we're going to take one of these. And we're going to put it right here. Uh, we're going to hit it first to activate it. Then we're going to put it up like this, and it should just float. Oh, a little bit too high. Put it down a little bit lower. There we go. Now we can climb on it, and then we can get up. Now, you don't have to do what I'm about to do, but I just think it'll be fun if we just take all these floating blocks with us, just because they're fun to have. Okay, so now we're going to go into this next room, and there's another floating block right here, and there's this platform thing right here. So you can take this and you can put them together, and then you can put it over the gap. Um, something along the lines of this, and then drop it. Oh, I didn't activate it first. Well, reset. Okay, so don't forget to hit it once, because these ones that are already on the ground are not active by default. So we're going to put that on. Now we're going to put it back across. And now it should float. All right, now we don't need to take this with us, but I just like bringing these with me because it's fun to take all the items whenever I do one of these. And then we're also going to take this and we're going to bring it over as well. So now we've got this over here. Now there's multiple ways to do this, I think. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put it up really high like that, but where I can still get underneath of it. And then I could use ascend in order to go up. Now, before I go, I just really think it's fun. I'm going to take these things with me. You don't have to take these with you, but it's just fun to bring them with me just because I can. Okay, so now we can go over here and use Ascend to get up. And then we can go over to here. Now, again, don't need to take these things with you, but I just love doing it. So we're going to attach that to that. And then we're going to go over to here and bring this with us and set it down. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to go over here to this one that's already placed kind of straight up and down. Go over here. There's a chest up here, so put it up there. And then use Ascend to go through it. And then you can get the chest. Inside of this chest, there's just five arrows. Very disappointing. Okay, so now we need to get across. I just I just love taking these to put them together. It's actually so much fun to do it. Although that one's lost forever now because the way the game mechanics work. Okay, so we've got all these, and the way we're supposed to do this is what we will do. But because we brought all this random stuff with us, <laughs> we could do this a lot of different ways. Um, so I'm just really quick gonna float my big blob of stuff over there. You don't need to do this. I mean, literally, it's pointless for me to have those, but it's just really fun. Okay, so now we're gonna take this. And we're going to attach it anywhere to this. We're going to take this and move it down a little so I can get on top of it. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to shoot an arrow at that. That's why the chest had five arrows. It's because you need an arrow. All right, then you can go here, take this, shake it loose, and then drop it down into the hole, which will open up this door and it will complete the shrine. And there you go. That shrine is now complete. So if you guys had any issues with that, you didn't know how to get into the shrine or didn't know how to complete it, Hopefully this walkthrough was able to help you out. Now you know how to get inside of and complete the Ehen A Shrine in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.